What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Sylveon on the Regulation Deed ladder with also Choice Specs to you. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But our first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be the best support Pokemon on the rank ladder at the moment, and that is going to be Tornadus. Tornadus has the Prankster with the Mental Herb as item, Rock and Tailwind, Taunt, Sunny Day, and Bleak Storm. In our second slot, we got the boy, Don Dizzy. Don Dozo over here with Oblivious and Leftovers as its item. It's got Wave Crash to protect, EQ, and Order Up. Pairing up with Tatsugiri, everybody knows this Pokemon is top tier. Speaking of Tatsugiri, that is going to be our third Pokemon with Commander and the Choice Scarf as its item. It's got Muddy Water, it's got Sleep Talk, it's got Trigger Meteor and Ice Human for a little bit of speed control. In our fourth slot, we got Shiyu, a strong Pokemon by itself, but on top of that, paired up with Sylveon or any type of special attacker, it just makes him 10 times better. It's got Beads of Ruin as its ability with the Choice Specs as its item, Overheat, Dark Pulse, Snarl, and Heat Wave. In our fifth slot, we got everyone's favorite evolution. It is going to be Sylveon, over here with Pixelate and the Pixie Plate as its item. We got Protect, Hyper Voice, Terror Blast, and Quick Attack. And in our final slot, we got Iron Hands, a solid Pokemon all around and a great Pokemon to take out Water Mains. It's got Quirk Drive with the Assault Vest, Rockin' Heavy Slam, Drain Punch, Fake Out, and Wild Charge. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder, look to grab some wins with this Sylveon team. Battle number one is here. We're going up against a Ting Lu team. Ting Lu is one of those Pokemon that you do not really see in Regulation D, but it was super strong in Regulation C. But it's here today, and we're going up against it with Articuno and Abomasnow and Heatran for a giraffe. And last but not least, Iron Hands. Who should we lead? How should we play? I'm not going to lie, Chi Yu and Sylveon is not a bad lead here. It really is. And I got the Ghost Terror type on the Chi Yu. This thing can hit like a truck. I love it all the round. I am a little worried about the Ting Lu. But in this instance, Sylveon could be pretty powerful. So, so I'm going to go with these two, get them rolling just like that. Or I could actually go or not. It's just for a bit of speed control. Because do we think they're actually popping Trick Room? Maybe, maybe not. And if they do go into a Trick Room Pokemon, I can always just pop Sunny Day and go Heat Wave from there. So yeah, I'm actually really liking that. We'll bring Sylveon in the back end. And then last but not least, I like the Iron Hands as our fourth Pokemon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves some win here in match number one. But something I forgot to mention in the team preview is the DLC actually comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. But uh, if you guys have teams for me, make me some rental teams featuring the new Pokemon. I would love to showcase them on my YouTube channel and send them to me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. If you guys do not have Twitter, try to get them to me. Probably YouTube comment section. Send them down below. I'll try to take a picture and I'll try to use everybody's team. Because again, I want all different types of Pokemon, all different types of teams to showcase on the YouTube channel. Would love to get some rental teams from you guys. But Iron Hands ends up coming out here. Do I have Covert Cloak on my boy? I do not. I do not. I do have this lovely Ghost Terror type, which I am going to send here. And do I just choice in the Heat Wave? I really like choice in the Heat Wave here. So I'm going to do that alongside with Poppin' Sunny Day. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to Ghost Terror just in case he wants to fake out the Chiyu. I could have Dark Pulse to take out for a graph. I could definitely do that, but there is a chance to Terrasalize. And plus, Heat Wave in Sunny Day can do a massive amount of damage. Gotta remember, I'm Choice Specs too, so I'm looking to do some big time damage. Looking to do some big time damage. The Fake Out is coming into the Chiyu slot, which is massive. And since we already have Speed and they have a Trick Room Setter on the field, I'm just going to set the Sun to make Heat Wave do as much damage as possible can. Heat Wave is now going to fly here, and it is just ripping. Taking out for a graph, which is huge. Did not have the choice in Dark Pulse, and we kind of get cooked from there. So hot start for us. Hot start for us, dodging the Fake Out, popping the Sunny Day, and just getting work done from there. Now, from here, he's going to go into Ting Lu. And I could pop the Tailwind if I want to, but I feel as my Pokemon have speed already. I feel as they have a lot of speed. So Heat Wave will take out the Iron Hands, no problem. And I think we should go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Yeah, I guess. Trying to get off as much damage as we can. And I can see our opponent honestly just canceling the battle. We just tore him up and we're sitting in a beautiful position. A beautiful position. So we'll see what they want to do. If I had to guess, it might, we might see a terror type come out from Team Blue. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Ends up with John Iron Hand. So he's going to go into... We have Bleak Windstorm and Heat Me Flying. You're going to go into Heatran. Okay, so that's actually the most perfect Pokemon for the situation. 
And Ting Lu is going to Terrasse this. And we'll see a nice little Terra. Could be a Water Terra. I'd not be surprised. Kind of seems like it's going to be a Water Terra, right? Mm hmm. Perfect Terra type. Water Terra coming out of here. That's massive. That's actually really big. So Water Terra comes out here. Heat Wave is going to fly. Flash Fire is going to pop on Heatran. And we're going to do. Not bad damage to Ting Lu. No, let's pay it down. Liquid Storm's gonna double land. Can we get a little bit of speed drop? That would be gorgeous if we could do that. Any speed drops? Nice, there's one. Show me two. Only one. Little Chop's gonna end up coming in here and it's going to take out my Chiyu. Okay, so from here, I have Iron Hands. Not gonna be a bad Pokemon. And who else do I have? I have Sylveon. So Iron Hands is gonna be great up against uh up against Heatran. And I think from here we just go into Heatran, right? He potentially might protect the Heatran here. He might, knowing I could just punch it and KO it. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for a fake out here. And on top of that, I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. We're just going to try to get off some damage on the Ting Luke here. Because Heatran might actually protect or even swap here. Thinking I'm going to fake it out or just Dream Punch it. So we'll see how this one plays. Their opponent, that was actually a big turn for our opponent. The Terra and the swap was, it was just perfect. It was just, I don't think he could have gotten a better turn off. That was just like such a big swing of turns, especially with the Pokemon that I have on the field. But Heatran's going to protect, and this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. Heatran's going to protect or swap, and now we can just fake out a Ting Lu slot. Bang, get a little bit of Flinchy's action here. I'm surprised that Bleak Wind Storm is actually landing, or double land in the sun last turn. Can you still land on Ting Lu here? It does, I love you. I love you, so that's a big time land. So if we land one more, that's going to KO the Ting Lu. And now from here, I have a Salt Vest. I do have a Salt Vest, I do want to just Drain Punch the Heatran. So I'm going to Drain Punch Heatran. And I'm just going to Tailwind, just so I can get some speed going. Because Iron Hands is rather is on the slower side. So. Yeah, and if I could just get rid of Heatran, we pretty much win this match. We have Sylveon in the back end. Which they don't know that we have. So, again, I finish off Heatran here. Night, night, good game. The Tailwind's going to come out here. I believe this should make Iron Hands faster than Heatran, because Heatran is minus one. And I'm correct. So Drain Punch comes out here, and they live! That's ugly. That's ugly, but I can definitely still see Sylvia clutching up. Heatran is orb and he dies out. That's actually big. That's actually big. Because Ting Lu's probably gonna go for like a stomp and catch him or something to take out my Iron Hands. Ruin Nation. Actually, so my Iron Hands gonna get another turn. Massive, huge. And now I get to bring out Sylvia. So my play here is pretty simple, right? Sylvia comes out here. It's got tailwind. We just go into hyper voice, right? We go into Hyper Voice. Iron Hands can fake out anybody. So, I think I use my Iron Hands to KO the Tingle. Yeah, that makes the most sense. We'll go Wild Charge into you. We'll go Hyper Voice. So, if Iron Hands fakes out my Sylveon, then that'll be Iron Hands' turn, and then my Iron Hands outspeeds Tingle and will KO it. If they don't take out my Sylveon, then I just Hyper Voice and win the game. So, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. Yeah, our opponent made that one close. I really did think we were just going to sweep our opponent after that, but the, just the most perfect tower type and a great swap into Heatran. Made this game a match. It made it a match. So they're thinking. They're thinking of doing something. I don't know what they got up their sleeves. But there's the fake out into Sylveon. Like I said, if that was the case, we just take out Thing Loom. And now we can pretty much wrap it up from here. So a late game Tailwind actually clutched up for us. If I'd never popped that Tailwind, we would never won this game. But even if uh, Heatran was not Life Orb and, and he survived, I still feel as we would have been fine. But I think Sylveon could have still KO'd Heatran with a Hyper Voice that was low enough HP. And I would have KO'd anybody else with one shot. But from here, I go Drain Punch, I go Hyper Voice, and we wrap it up. It's going to be game. Battle was canceled. Hot start for us in today's video. We're hopping into our second match, and we're going up against more of a Trick Room team. They got Fluttermane, who could pop Trick Room. They also have Cresselia, Glacier, Heatran, and then Urshifu and Rillaboom. So I would say Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Fluttermane are the 
more of the non-trick room side, whereas he trained Cresselia and Glacia really rock out in trick room. So how should we play this one? Who should we go into? We could go Don Dozo and Sylveon, which I actually kind of really like that lead. And I think I am going to do that. So I'm going to go Don Dozo and Sylveon and then bring Tatsugiri in the back end alongside with Chiyu. Or I could bring Iron Hands because if they do go trick room, I can really get some work done. No, I, li I like uh, Chiyu here. Plus, its speed's pretty solid, right? 152, that might be faster than Urshifu, which could be clutch. Could definitely come up clutch. So, I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're looking to go back to back here. We're looking to go 2 0 over here. Would be dope. Would be dope. But again, get me guys your regulation E teams. I really want to start recording casual battles for you guys as soon as possible. Get some cool content out there for you guys using like poly rain teams. And I think all the starters come out in Teal Mask, or that might be the other one. But I'm super excited for all the Pokemon that are coming back. So they go Crest, they go Urshifu, and that's the Water Urshifu, correct? Let me make sure I think it is. No, it's a Dark. Okay, so Dark. A little scurry. A little scary. Probably gonna Terror. We might just swap. But I feel as from here, we just go wave crash into this slot. Actually, I'm going to wave crash this slot. Just in case he wants to go into it. Just in case you want to go into Heatran. Actually, I mean, if you go into Heatran, that's no big deal. I can always terror and just rip into you next turn. So, you know what? I'm just going to wave crash here. Into Cresselia, and I'm just going to hyper voice cross the board. I can definitely see a heat transfer swap, and now he goes for a look at low, right into, right into my fish. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? That's a little wild. That's a little wild. Considering now your Urshfu's just dead. He's a goner. He's sashed, but I'm just gonna quick attack him next turn. Odd, very odd. Very odd. Wave Crash coming in hot here, doing a little bit of damage, we love it. And Rocky Helmet's gonna hit me. Oh, you chill. Chill on the Rocky Helmet. I might just use Tatsugiri on its own terms, right? Hmm. I'm just gonna protect you. I'm just gonna go quick attack here. The end of detecting. Ouch, man. Ouch. Hurts the soul. And I protected Don Dizzy. And I protected Don Dozo. What are they gonna do from here? What is your call from? Surprised he just stayed in there with the bear, man. Even our blessing comes out here. And I think quick attack will still KO the uh, Urshfu, right? Yeah, it should. It's four times super effective. Unless you Terra. Ah, so from here. I'm just gonna go for order up. I do, really don't want to take the recoil damage. And I'm just gonna go for quick attack. Because again, quick attack will still KO. So, helping hand comes out here. Quick attack should still just get rid of you. And we'll go from there. Cool. So, we KO you. We're gonna hit up on the crest here. With a nice little order up. Not gonna do any crazy damage, but still, I like it. And we'll go from there. Because I'm thinking of just double protecting this turn. Getting some HP recovery back and then swapping into Tatsu. Which I could do. Let's see who they bring out first. It's gonna be real boom, so yeah, I'm definitely double protecting. Definitely double protect. Don't wanna be faked out. Or I could just hyper voice. You're really gonna fake out my Sylveon? I feel as you would fake out Don Dozo more than Sylveon. Because you think I might swap into that. So, yeah, I'm just going to go Hyper Voice. Helping Hand. Oh, you're going for Wood Hammer. Can you go into my Don Dozo slot? Because I'm protected. I'm back on the protection board. Go into Don Dizzy. Bullet Seed into Don Dozo. That's huge. Just massive. So, I'm thinking, even though I'm minus one, if I can swap into Tatsu here, I should be able to outspeed Rogue. That's some nice damage. We love that damage. We love that damage. So, yeah, I'm definitely going into... I think I'm gonna try to get rid of Cress here. I see Don Dozo's speed. I'm getting back a huge amount of HP now. We're loving it. And what is your speed at? So again, you're minus one. You should be, after a plus one boost, you should be without speed. Boom. So from here, I'm just going to, I'm actually gonna Terra. 
I'm gonna Terra in. And I'm just gonna get rid of Cress. I'm just gonna get rid of Cress. I'm just gonna get rid of Cress. I'm, I'm really not too worried about the Will Boom. Really not too worried about it. I got Shiyu in the back end, so. Playing really well here. Wait it to swap. That's what's so good about having like Don Dozo next to another Pokemon is like your opponent's always sticking to swap. So now I've eventually swapped after a few turns. We get a lot of value out of it. We get a KO. Get some big time damage off. I think Don Dozo should outspeed. I'm obviously going to Terra on top of that, and we'll go from there. Because <coughs> if he's bullet seeding me, it's not going to do any crazy damage with the Grass Terra, which we love. Which we love. And then I KO the Crest. I am going to take Recoil. I am going to take Rocky Helmet damage. I understand, but I, I'll take that trade all day. I'll take the trade all day. So we'll say bye bye to Crest. I'm going to take a mean amount of Rocky Helmet damage. I'm going to take a mean amount of Recoil damage. But we should be able to eat up this Bullet Seed. We got Leftovers and Terrain HP here as well. And we'll go from there. Come on, man. That's too easy. Six damage. That's nothing. Is this loaded dice? Please no, don't be loaded dice. It definitely is. Just launching seeds at me. The so six times four, 24 damage so far. So far. So far, I said. <laughs> and that's nothing. That's nothing crazy because we get some HP back. And on top of that, we'll get our leftovers. So I could protect and get back a nice chunk of HP. If I want to. But we're just playing this one too perfect. We're playing this one really, really well. <coughs> so they go into the final Pokemon. It's going to be Heatran and. Potentially just going to Terrasilize, right? At this point, I'm just gonna go into Order Up and just chunk up some damage on the Rillaboom. He trans probably gonna Terrasilize, yeah. And he'll take me out with the Heat Wave, but as long as I can get off an Order Up here, maybe KO the Rillaboom, then I'm stoked. So to go in with Grass Terror, that's actually perfect. We actually forced it to change typings too. So now Sylveon can do damage onto that. All that good stuff. And did you miss the heat wave? Oh no, Tatsu, you're watching. I'm surprised you outspeed me. You outspeed me. Now Tatsu's gonna take some damage. Ah! Not Tatsu. Not Tatsu. Tatsu, I kind of need you to stay alive here, right? I should be able to soak up these bull seeds. Four of those. That's just some 30 damage about. Can't let him get five. Four, I'm cool with. Not five. Please do not get five. ugly man. <coughs> that's so ugly it's so ugly real ugly not getting five out here okay now i get to pull out the, these little boogers you have to pull out these little boogers and i think Robin might be slowest on the field and i can't choice in the heat i'm gonna have to choice in the dark pulse here. so dark pulse is gonna be my best friend here um I believe Hyper Voice will take out Real Boom, so I'm just gonna go Dark Pulse and Hyper Voice here. Wow, these matches, like, I get these hot starts and then our opponent just makes some good plays. Your Dark Pulse gonna get Coconut And just one shot. Okay, beautiful. I don't have to worry about this. GG's. Cool. 2 0. We're 2 0. Beautiful. He channel was the only Pokemon I was a little worried about. Cool, he's gonna fly here. You're soaking that. these up. Even 5. You're soaking 5. No doubt in my mind. Actually, you might not soak up five. That's three. Can you soak up five? Oh, you get a crit. Do not. Okay, it hits me four times. Cool. I was going to be like, yo, you get a crit? But Hyper Voice flies, and like I said, it's going to KO. There it is. Two and oh. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Final match is here, and we're going up against Reggie Draco and Reg Like Team that I actually showcased on the channel just a little bit ago. Really cool team. Absolutely loved it. But uh, yeah, we're killing it in today's video. Just playing super solid, super well, making some good calls. But who should we lead, and how should we go into it? <coughs> I'm thinking they're gonna lead some sort of Reg Reggie, whether it be Reg Like or Reggie Draco, and maybe even Tornadus or like. So maybe going into a Tailwind uh, Pokemon of her own could be good. And this one's actually gonna be a tough matchup. And then on top of that, maybe going into Iron Hands. Do we go into Iron Hands? I think we should go Iron Hands, maybe Chiyu. Just let Chiyu get some work done. Or just go Chiyu, Tornadus with Sylveon, Iron Hands. Yeah, I like that. 
I like, I like Iron Hands in late game. Pretty powerful, but this team just screams speed control, right? If I don't have Trick Room, which I don't, speed control is just a problem because they got E Webs, they got Reginald Lucky, super fast, Tailwind. It's tough. It's tough. It's brutal. But we'll see who they need. What you got cooking for me? Anything but Regilecki. Just what I want. Regilecki. <laughs> like I said, they really had two options to lead. It was Fluttermane and Regilecki or Draco and Tornadus. But from here, Tailwind would not make us faster. But Heatwave can still do a crazy amount of damage. Hmm. I have the Ghost Terror type, which I don't really like. The Terror type, yet. Ghosts on both sides. I'm gonna go for Tamlin. <coughs> That's what I think is gonna happen here, and I can't really do much about it. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I Tailwind, and he ends up just uh, e-webbing me and making Fluttermane potentially faster than me. But this might work out perfectly. So we could one-shot Fluttermane if we land Heatwave. Me and Heatwave are back in business. We've been landing a lot lately. See, like I said, me and Heatwave back in business. We don't care. This thing's actually rather bulky. And they decide to pop a trick room. Okay. I understand. They decide to pop a trick room. Pretty smart play. I'm going to stick with the heat waves because I, cause I kind of have to. And Bleak Windstorm's going to fly, right? Yeah. Best bet right there. Gleam's going to come cooking out here. Hurting the soul. And he webs also going to fly. Who's dodging that? Chi, you dodge that, right? Okay, Chi, you didn't dodge it, but that actually works out fine. I'm soaking. That thing is orbed. And I can't believe they're slowing us down, but I think they wanted the double KO. And we get the double KO. That's big. That's big. <coughs> so since they did pop a trick room, honestly, that works out fine for my Iron Hands, right? I have Iron Hands to back end. Great within trick room. Can really start getting after it. Yo, check out my tan line. My tan line is rough. I just looked over at my camera and seen it. Just seen my neckline right here. I've been working outside recently. So I've been getting the, the farmer's tan, man. Let's see if you can see it in my arms. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's bad. I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> but Urshifu and Farigar have come out here. I'm stuck in the heat wave here. And I'm just going to send it. And on top of that, you go Bleak Windstorm. Wow, dude. I hate, I hate this tan line, man. I hate it. The thing is, my uh, my camera settings bring out like the saturation, which means like, the colors on my body. Yeah, so... Hey, I can't, I can't stand it. I can't stand a tan line, a bad tan line. And, and like, I can't do anything about it because I have to work outside this month. This whole month I'll be working outside and it's been hot. I've been going through a heat. Not even a Pokemon joke. Legit going through a heat wave. But uh, I got some good Pokemon here. Um, Sylveon should be slower than Urshifu and Iron Hands should be slower than for Rigoraph, which works out pretty well. Dude. They still have Terra, kind of scary. But I think from here, we just got not Terra Blast. What did I just click? I just clicked Terra Blast. We go Hyper Voice. And did we go for a Water Terror here? Um, yeah, I like Water Terror here. And we just go for a Drain Punch or a Water Charge. Actually, I have Fake Out. I can't use Fake Out. I just remembered. And I'm just going to go for a Drain Punch in the front grab. We'll see what they want to do. I'm going to end up terrestrializing. Looking for a 3 0 back. We've been killing it, baby. Absolutely killing it. On the rank ladder. Our record, I think if we win this, would be like 26 and 13, which is stellar. I think I'm top 2,000, but it's tough for me to push up because I only play for like an hour a day. And then in that time being, a lot of the, a lot of people pass me when I'm not playing. Side Shock ends up coming out here. We're going to be able to soak that. We got best as well. And did that crit? It didn't. That just did an immense amount of damage for no reason. Well, Hyper Voice comes out here, going to do half damage. Can he finish him off? Can he finish off the Friggy? You do. That's big time. That's big time. So we finish off Friggy. All we got left is this Urshifu. Jinx has been killing it. Killing it. I'll show you guys my record after this matchup. I know you guys have been wanting to see it. So I'm going to go into Hyper Voice here. I am just going to go into Wild Charge this time because he could have more Terror type. Real possibility. <coughs> when this little terror comes out of your watch, it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be like the most perfect terror type. And it is water. So good thing I did change in that wild charm. See, your boys, I got you guys. Your boys got you. Making these reads all day. This is simple. 
it's it's simple Pokemon. The Hyper Boy is still doing insane amount of damage, and we're outspeeding because Trick Room's still here. Wild Charge comes out there, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen, three and zero. Oh. There's our rank, ladies and gentlemen, 1,347. Like I said, been killing it in recording sense recently. 26 and 15. I thought I was 26, 13. Looks like I'm 26 and 15. Still a crazy great record. Almost in the top 1,000, which I absolutely love. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos are live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.